want to give you guys an update on the windshield installation. It's done! That was the one big hurdle that I've been really dreading, getting this windshield put on. Directions are not very clear, but I did it, thank goodness. So, anyway, uh, I came up with this idea of how to hold the front of the windshield down to the nose cone. It's got a lock nut underneath that uh, stainless steel screw. Anyway, you can see there the back goes and turns around. Got to put one more rivet right here. I just don't want to mess with that right now. I still got Clecos because that's they don't get riveted in until after the aircraft's been painted and ready for final assembly. So, anyway, I also got the door finished. And you talk about giving some room. I, I don't like the way the factory sent a little bungee cord to hold the door shut, so I'm gonna come up with my own clasp right there. When you get in, you can actually lock it to the this top bar right here. So, anyway. Watch this. Check that out. So now you can see how much room you've got. That other bar used to attach right here and it came up through here so you had to really, like that other one over there, had to really get your legs in there. It was really tough so now the whole side's all open and now it's time to move on with the exhaust system. I'll get the springs in tomorrow get the exhaust completely finished up, then I'll start tidying up everything back there, install the, uh, get the fuel pump wired in and connected, or held down. And then, uh, hopefully within another week or two, between flying lessons and work, may fire this bad boy up, get some oil flowing in that engine. There's all the, the wiring down inside the, I've got my, little door here to finish up. I've got it drilled and whatnot, so and it's coming along. It's looking pretty dead gum awesome. Alright, see you later.